Shalom brothers and sisters. So obviously going into this difficult seven years ahead, things are getting hectic with the famine ramping up, with the storms all over the, the earth and just general chaos as it builds towards this point. One world money system, control systems in place, evil being celebrated everywhere. And another way to drive famine and control of the population is by removing jobs. Because then people will be too happy when the governments eventually say, okay, we'll give you a handout, you do as you're told, you stay at home, you'll own nothing and you'll be happy. So now they've released an article, 16 large companies that have just announced mass terminations again. Tyson Foods, 10% of the corporate jobs, 15% of senior leadership roles will be slashed. Lyft Roughly 26% of its corporate workforce will be slashed. Deloitte, 1,200 jobs or 1.5% of the U.S. workforce. Gap, 1,800 employees will be cut. Ernst & Young, 3,000 jobs from the U.S. workforce. 3M, 6,000 staff laid off around the world in addition to the 2,500 manufacturing roles in January. CDW, layoff of hundreds of employees. David's Bridal laying off thousands of workers nationwide. Dropbox slashing its global workforce by 16%. Red Hat, 4% of global workforce will be cut. Open Door, roughly 560 jobs or 22% of the workforce will be cut. First Republic, 20% and 25% following the unprecedented situation they're in financially. Walmart. 2,000 workers cut at five U.S. warehouses. Facebook, 343 employees across three offices. Amazon, 9,000 staff. Disney, several thousand workers and part of its plan to cut 7,000 employees. And during the first three months of this year, job cuts in the United States were 396% higher than the same period a year ago, right? That's hectic. That's just insane. Where are all those people going to get food to feed their families? Finances to be able to carry on, ability to pay mortgages and bills that are piling up. Desperation kicks in, suicide rates go through the roof because people don't know or have a relationship with Jesus Christ to get to that point where we can handle anything the devil throws at us or life throws at us because even under a tree using a rock as a pillow i know that my redeemer lives and people just don't have that they don't have blessed assurance jesus is mine and in a world this dark that is exactly another way that they get rid of a large bunch as yuval harari says useless eaters that don't fit into their plan, nefarious plans, for what their future holds. Their shiny future, which is not so shiny. It's shiny with destruction and wrath that's coming to them. So please pray for all of these people. I mean, we know how this feels. It's all over the world. This is just a reflection on the U.S., but this can be multiplied all over the world. And people are experiencing this everywhere. And they're in desperation and deep need and disaster. Pray that they find and seek Jesus Christ in these times. That people will help people. And that there will be some form of relief for them in these times. Because it is not fun to watch your children go hungry. To watch everything fall apart around you that you've worked years at building. But... People need to start turning to God and building their house on the rock. Not their physical house, their lives, their hope, their future is in Jesus. God bless. Keep looking up. Keep praying. The fervent prayer of the righteous availeth much. Shalom.